DJ Keemstar is best known as the imitable man who runs the show Drama Alert, which is essentially the TMZ of YouTube. Or for our international fans, his show reports on the latest scandals and controversies that involve the biggest stars on our beloved video hosting website. Oh, and by the way, you know that song that plays in the background of all of the Drama Alert videos? Well, it's actually called Movement Proposition by Kevin McLeod. In fact, I think I'll play it now. What is up, Topless Nation? I'm your host, Grungy Nod. Let's get right into the facts. DJ Keemstar's real name is Daniel Keem. He was born on the 8th of March in 1983 in Buffalo, New York. Despite his fame and notoriety, very little is known about his earlier years. That is, until now. In 2009, Keemstar had a job in an attorney's office. After work, he'd hop on his Xbox and play some good old fashioned Halo 3, which is the go-to Xbox game at the time. Even then, Keemstar was a huge trash talker and would regularly get into verbal sparring matches with other players. Yo, blue team, suck my f***ing f you're gonna lose. These antics would later change his life. Keemstar first caught the YouTube community's attention when a YouTuber called D-Ranker recorded one of Keem's Halo 3 meltdowns without his knowledge. The video of Keemstar quickly went viral, and D-Ranker was so impressed by Keemstar's linguistic skills that the two got together and created a Halo 3 trolling group called the FAG, or the Federation of Asshole Gamers. This group quickly would become the most successful trolling channel on all of YouTube and pioneered the now famous trolling genre. The two were so successful that FAG, or Halo A-Holes, was the fifth gaming channel to ever get partnered, which at the time was a very exclusive thing. These successes soon made it possible to quit his job at an attorney's office and strike out on his own on YouTube. Even back in his early years, Keemstar's antics were controversial at best. This controversy escalated to the point where Keemstar found himself on the receiving end of a SWAT team. One person decided that Keemstar deserved a taste of his own medicine, and broke the law in the process. Someone dialed the police, claiming that a deaf person was being held hostage in Keemstar's home. Daniel Keem called us on Saturday, describing what happened inside his home on North Main Street. Police told me that um, a deaf person called and said that they were in a hostage situation. A lot of people know me in the gaming world, and my YouTube channel is basically us pulling, you know, innocent pranks on online games. Many people do not know this, but Keemstar is actually a multi-millionaire and even became very wealthy long before Drama Alert was even created. A majority of Keemstar's wealth likely comes from a now-forgotten game known as Fortress Craft, which was released in 2012. Keemstar approached the developer of the game and leveraged his fame in exchange for partial ownership of the game. Well, thanks to Keemstar's promotion, this small-time Minecraft clone was wildly successful and sold over 2 million copies. The money from Fortress Craft would allow him to purchase a house with cash. And he also was able to buy a brand new car, hot tubs, jet skis, and other trappings of the rich. What are those? The trouble was that Microsoft only paid developers on a quarterly basis. So while waiting for a life-changing paycheck, Keemstar was in a tenuous position. His FAG channel had fizzled out, with his Xboxes now being routinely banned by Microsoft. And before his check, Keemstar had to figure out a way to provide for his girlfriend and child. Just before the darkest point in his life, a seemingly amazing opportunity showed up on his doorstep. A founder of a YouTube network offered to pay Keemstar for every single person that signed up on their network. So to make ends meet, Keemstar began promoting the network in exchange for half of its revenue, and began taking $50 security deposits for every new member. This mistake would go on to haunt him to this day. Collecting money in any form in order to join YouTube networks is strictly against YouTube's terms of service. And the next morning, his channel was terminated. This ban never expired, and despite the ban now being over six years old, Keemstar is still permanently banned from YouTube. So you may be wondering, if Keemstar is permanently banned from YouTube, how is he able to host Drama Alert? Well, it turns out that Keemstar has very little to do with Drama Alert, at least in an official capacity. According to Keemstar, he doesn't even log on to the Drama Alert YouTube channel. 
How this works is that there's a loophole in YouTube's terms of service, where as long as he is not the direct owner of the channel, he can still participate in the channel's videos in the capacity of a contracted host. So after Keemstar convinced a friend to register Drama Alert, he quickly bought most of the company's shares and was contracted out as the show's host. And that is how Keemstar still has a presence on YouTube. This legal distinction is so important that there's even a legal disclaimer in the Drama Alert YouTube About section. The disclaimer reads, Daniel Keem, aka Keemstar, did not create, nor does he possess or have access to any part of this channel. He is a contracted content producer, which, according to the YouTube Terms of Service and Community Guidelines, is 100% okay. Keemstar is probably most controversial for the time he falsely accused a 62-year-old streamer of being a pedophile after one of his writers confused him for another recently released pedophile called John Phillips. Once Drama Alert released the false allegations about the RuneScape streamer known as Tony, he was driven to tears. And I have to admit, it's pretty hard to watch. I, I'm not calling him. I'm not telling him my phone number. I don't want that guy to bother me no matter what. I don't want his money. I don't want his apology. Because, <laughs> you know, uh, I know who and what I am. And my real friends know who and what I am. And they stuck by me. Thank you very much for everything. In order to set things straight, Keemstar apologized and even offered him thousands of dollars in compensation. Tell him that we want to donate to him. He logged out. He doesn't, he doesn't want your money. Want your I don't give a f He's getting my goddamn money. Many people don't know this, but Keemstar has actually rubbed shoulders with billionaires in the past. The best example of this is Keemstar's brief yet lucrative relationship with Alki David, who is a Greek billionaire. Keemstar joined up with David to create a show called The Billionaire's Challenge. Keemstar, shut up. Keemstar, okay, shut up. Knows I'm gonna win this. Shut up. Unfortunately, Alki David's eccentricity likely caused the show to go under as he insisted on showcasing an assisted suicide in front of the show's hundreds of thousands of viewers. Still, because of the show, Keemstar had shown that he was a force to be reckoned with in the media. I suggest you contact DJ Keemstar if you wish to join this Wednesday. We'll be having all the uh, half-faith beauties in my garage once more and uh, we'll be having tons of fun. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for listening. As of this video's release, Keemstar has come under fire from multiple famous YouTubers and has stepped down as Drama Alert's full-time host. It's possible that he will return in the near future, but for now, things are very much up in the air for the controversial yet undefeatable Daniel Keem. Is Keemstar a bad person? Or has he just been the victim of backstabbing? And is he really just good guy Keem? Let us know in the comments. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the facts. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. Let's shoot for three likes. Topless Nation, now over 433,000 subscribers. I had to actually watch a drama alert video to do that impersonation. That wasn't fun. Never make me do that again.